Or <laughs> telephone in the background. Sigurd's capture of Evan's castle comes too late. Aideen is not there, instead already well within Verdane's borders. Absolutely barbaric. <laughs> Verdane's territory is blanketed in a thick sweep of forest. The nation is widely dubbed a barbarian kingdom by Grand Vale's people, owing to their constant raids on Grand Valian soil. However, the reign of King Batur has seen an end to Verdane's infamous border raids. Man, a pacifist, still looks King weird. Batur has long worked to build a lasting peace with Grand Vale, while also keeping his aggressive sons appeased. Oh, to meet him, Galvar, it was Batur himself who violated the peace he held so dear. Batur's three sons have unexpectedly launched an assault on Grand Vale. Kinbath, the second son, Lord of Genoa. Gandalf, the eldest, Lord of Martha, and Jamka, the youngest of the three. Lurking deep within Verdane territory, the three now await the arrival of Sigurd. Ideen's fate, Batra's sudden belligerence. Sprawling before Sigurd lie the great force of Verdane. Oh, and within them, <laughs> the answers he seeks. He prepares to take his first steps into the spirit force of folklore. Obtain wife. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Replay Fire on Genealogy of the Holy War. We're going to Chapter 1, The Spirit Force Maiden. Oh my god, not we can long. read it. Meanwhile, in no, Nordion... Not for long. It's good to go talk to. Man, I wonder who this guy is. He looks important. Know, His horse is white. <gasps> got a pretty impressive You're doing well. Hairdo. Jeez. It's like you're doing well, Jerex Soldier. I thought the 3DS knights looked ridiculous. Can't even see that dude's eyes at all. Oh boy. Welcome to this character. Hi, what's good? So, uh, here comes Eld again. Eld again's a dumb. I, uh. <laughs> He's gonna a remind, big gonna remind me of a uh, certain blonde guy from Nor, am I right? You know? I'm just saying. He. Just saying, you know? He and Xander are fucking bros in dumbassery. Kind of are. Yeah. Mm. Rancor is sort of late. My king is evil, what do? You know, at you least Xander wisens up point. at some point. Well, on one of the routes, but yeah. Um, does Eldegan ever go? Man, maybe serving Shigal is a bad idea. I nah. think he does say. I think he does say something like that once or twice. He's like, yeah, he's an asshole, but he I might kind say of, it, but he still fucking yeah. pulls the the missile out of his butt and charges at you with it. No, yeah. he shoves it up your butt. Um, but anyway. Oh, not this dickweed. <laughs> I mean, he's a dickweed right now, but eventually he'll be cool. Dude, he's like 13 or some shit. He's, like, on, you're saving, he's like you're saving grace on a sub run. It's just like, he will always be God, no matter what. <laughs> I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Uh, Kinbath, are we calling him now? What was he called before? Kinbois. Kinboy. Kinboy, that was it. That boy. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> also, why did you make me tell Kale about the fucking magic town? What was that shit about? <laughs> Just remembered that. Why'd you do that? Because Auntie Ira's gonna <laughs> cut some people it. up. Oh shit. It's alright, oh, Ira's not gonna boy. die. Very, very more likely she's gonna kill one of us. I think the first playthrough of FP4 I ever did, she smoked, I think, cigarette. <laughs> I, uh, almost lost Alec to her, but luckily, he has a certain skill called Nihil, so he didn't explode. Yeah, she- if you're not careful, she'll annihilate someone. And you'll see why in about, no, oh, two seconds. Welcome to Chapter 1! Chapter 1 is it's a glorious big. place full of more bandits. Oh boy. A girl who wants to kick your ass. And we're... more bandits, eventually. <laughs> And a giant fuck off forest. How intimidating. Oh god, like why? You'll notice that we're not fielded right now. That's cause we're holed up in our home castle and we just made a van's our whole new home base. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man. So, while you're in your home castle, you can do a menagerie of things, mainly visiting the town, the t castle town itself, depart for a battle, can you visit the guard the room? castle, class change if, if, you, if you're level 20. Press it, press it. Press class change. You've already, already changed, changed class. class. You can't do so again. Please be on your way. Not leave. Holy, sh um, holy shit! Holy shit! Or if someone who can't promote yet, like Alec. Sorry, but you can only change class for reaching level. Oh wow! Come back when you gain more experience. That's never happening. Rip that fourth wall, huh? 
Good night. Um, but oh well. Uh, so, so uh, where's a hot, when where's you a hot spring at? You don't get a hot spring. You know, this, is, this is a better game. Anyway. Where's my accessory shop? Anyway, when you're in the castle town, you can do one of six things. You can visit the blacksmith, which will allow you to fix up your weapons, since uh, you can't normally buy weapons like you can in the GBA games. You can buy weapons, but they're not in they're not infinite supply, they're finite. <clears throat> so right now in this item shop here they have a slim sword, iron lance, javelin, and a steel axe. And more will be uh, added along the armory for as you go on along through the chapter. But in order well, to, to the arena, we all know that's what we're doing. <laughs> Come on. Can I Show explain Mr. Pawnbroker? Feel free, Mel. So here's the pawnbroker. It's one of the fun mechanics of FE4 is that every character can sell whatever weapons or items they're holding, and then any other character, as long as they can afford it, can buy back those items at full price. Or whatever price they are, depending on how many uses they have. This is correct. So, so, so uh, so that's, 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 that's demo. More than one sword. You really don't want to have more than one sword, as I'm sure Cal and Ray have addressed. There are yep. literally no downsides to using the, the stronger weapon. Wasn't that kind of like... Well, no, actually, Fates isn't quite this black and white as that. <laughs> In this game, it is just stronger weapons are better. Yeah, legit. That's it. It's just straight up, this weapon is stronger, use it, drop the other one. There's no point in having both. If you have an yeah. iron sword and a steel sword, the iron sword is literally useless. This is I mean, the supply. Yeah. Um, uh, to con the, you don't really ever have to come here to the supply. This is basically if you have more than seven items in your inventory, and, you're split and you get to retrieve them from this place. But generally, you don't ever do this because you you should have better inventory sense than this. So you mm -hmm. never actually get to see Anna's lovely face. Rip her. Oh, it's her only role mm -hmm. in this team. Lamentable. Here's the augury. The augury lets you uh, view your battle records. Hey, it's old hubba. Good old hubba. As of now, you recruit three wins and zero losses. And he lets you uh, know if if you are the character is in love with one another. Bound in holy matrimony. You know, you, you um said we'd never see the talk me's between characters, but won't Eflin and Quan have those? Uh, they only happen if you get if you uh, fall in love on the map. Uh, if yeah, you uh, go on, if you go on, then the yeah, other thing happen. I really want to see what they change that dialogue to. We'll have to wait what? until Gen two, there, Mel. Sorry. So anyway, time for the yeah, big main. Me. <laughs> time for Man, the big main attraction of the Castle Town, the arena. Oh, baby. If you like Arena's and GBA Fire Emblem, you're gonna love this one. Hey, it's Gazek from FE1! I love that guy! Oh. Yep. You go into the arena, you pick a weapon to go and fight a, a preset uh, list of seven enemies, each going growing stronger than the last in the, per chapter. Every character can fight in the arena. If you win the round, you get fully healed and you can fight the next round. If you lose, your character goes to 1 HP and they start the map at 1 HP. <laughs> yep. Although the one of the commands in the when you're in the home castle is to uh, use the sa a staff if you have a healer nearby. Yeah. But then that also uses their turn, doesn't it? But that yeah, it also uses their turn, and uh, you only get to allow to be sa the savior turn as if no one has moved yet. So uh, there are two sets of, of arena enemies in FE4, basically for me for melee uh, attackers and ranged attackers. And the, the best part about this is just, uh, if you have units that are ailing behind, typically they can always defeat the first or second round of the arena, even if they're weaker. So it's a good way for them to get some extra gold and some extra experience if they're not getting most of the stuff from the map. I really like this system. It's also a great way to gauge how well uh, your units can stack up to uh, the general enemies of the chapter they're currently in. So if you know that they clean out the arena, you, you know they're, they're pretty much set for life. If they yeah. have trouble, then the, you know they need to get get up a scratch really quickly. It's also, I, the gold thing is actually really important. Uh, everyone already knows that everyone has their own inventories for gold. And it's really hard to get every character their own sets of gold. Sick 99, right? So, the fact that you can get like a good 12,000 gold from the arena, just for everyone if they can beat it, is wonderful. It is really nice. Now time to bring up a, a little bug that's in the in this game. Um, I'm quitting the arena right now, but as you can see, I can choose to uh, either click the file together or change my weapon. But uh, the thing is that uh, arena fights work in a similar way to the cost scale, but uh, every time the fight continues to go on, more random numbers get burned up. 
and when it time when it comes time for a character to level up, uh, some of the RNs will have been gone, and you won't be able to reap the full benefits of your le level up. Like for instance, if I did not quit the level right here, that Sigurd might have not actually not have a chance to have gotten HP, even though he has 110 HP growth. Wow, mm -hmm. really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So basically, if you want to maximize your potential to, uh, level up gains, uh, quit a fight before you land the killing blow if you know you're about to level up. Oh my god, if before I knew it was bad. Wow, that's a bug. That's uh, a DDS a bug. is actually DDS is actually looking to uh, fix this bug in the in upcoming beta. Sorry, but sorry. He's trying to isolate what was that? It. What exactly happens? Is the, the game runs out of RNs, so that when you level, you can't gain a, you can't gain certain stats because the game has oh, no more course. RN to roll. I did, I did hear, I did hear about that. So what? I just didn't to know that it's. Um... Is it the the arena and the constant re-rolling? Yeah. How many times does it take? Uh, just base. It just basically. It just, it, just ha it can just be like one extra round, and then the the RNs just run out after just like one extra round of fighting. Oh, so, there must be there must be a finite value that works on then, right? There is. Eventually, eventually you'll still gain at least a couple of stats, or you just play and run out and just gain no stats at all. But if you just do what so I'm doing, so basically, the longer the fight goes on, the worse you're gonna get. Yeah, probably. I'm just flabbergasted that it works on stats that have over 100% growth. That's crazy. Hmm. It's a bit strange. Hey, yeah, check this out. You can finally see that this guy has a steel blade. Oh god, oh, you, he's level 19. You, you couldn't see that before. He might fuck you? No, nah, he's probably not. Hit. If he fucks the it's because he gets lucky he lands two hits. Oh, great What the fuck was that? Was he just used a cum guardian! That was, that was in ability. What, Bye, dolls. Yeah, we have those today, still. Yep, that was the general specific skill, great shield. Most generals and barons have it. It's uh, well, not anymore, defense do they? percent chance. Level great percent shield chance. isn't really a thing anymore, is it? They split it in two. Which percent? Level percent chance. Okay, yeah, to automatically block chance. all damage from one attack. Like, isn't that right? They split it. Yeah, in two. they split into Pavis and Aegis now. And even then, it doesn't fully defend you anymore. Yeah, Pavis and Aegis in the newer <laughs> games are just Pavis's um, melee attacks are half damage, and Aegis is like range attacks half damage. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. On a defense percent chance, I'm fairly sure. Even even F8 had great shield. It did. It did. I mean, it only had great shield. But it was but... also a weird formula. It was like the difference between levels. Yeah, I think it was either the difference between levels or the or the opponent's level, depending. Oh no, you're right. It was the opponent's level. That's the weird part. Hold on, I gotta look at this because F8 did it really weirdly. Yeah, F8 was very weird. That's putting it mildly right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, but it was. Let's see here. Skills. There's only like seven or something. What do we have here? Yeah, enemies level as a percent. Which is really funky for later on because okay. uh, you can't buy it here. <laughs> We're not going to be seeing the range portion of the arena until we get the character in this map because I'm confident that he can take it out. You, uh, what was it? You don't get to see the promoted level enemies, uh, unpromoted base levels in the game's data. Mm. So, you get really weird low percentages against the later enemies. Oh yeah, I copied your idea for Fates as well. What? By the way. With the Felicia idea. Just well, as Alright, so, uh, I did, I did the arena off-screen, just so we didn't have to see it on-screen, so, uh, with the characters oh. that are necessary. Uh, Sigurd clearly did not no problem, naturally. Ah. Yeah, he always does. So did Quan. Oh, yep. He's so big. Ethlyn is on the last fight, surprisingly. Hold up, nine magic. Yeah, and eight strength. She got, yeah, she got you... a couple of really good levels out of Everyone this one. Everyone keeps getting magic for some reason. Me you proc your five percent. Some people. Proc I proc his five percent. Fucking Jesus. Finn and Alec. No, not, not his, Alec, not his five percent. I proc his five percent. It's fucking. And ridiculous. his five percent. This is weird, man. Yeah, everyone but the people you want to get magic, he still got fucking none. Also, Finn cleared it out as well. Cause he's the best. Prayer is so strong. Uh, Madir only got to the fourth one, unfortunately. Well, Madir. Madir's a bit. He's a bitch. <laughs> and everyone else doesn't really matter. Uh, I gave uh, Sigurd's Steel Sword over to Ethlyn. It's only slightly more powerful than the Slim Sword, just in case she needs that extra two power for anything, but it's probably not likely. Uh, Finn got the Javelin that was at the shop. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. No one else really needed anything because no one else can really benefit from anything. Don't right you want now. to give that lovely steel axe to Lex? No. 
Like it is a straight upgrade though, isn't it? It is, oh, but you want to keep the iron axe on him be. anyway. Anyway, let's time to go field. Wow. But yeah, Sight. sorry, um, yeah, we got cut off. But yeah, basically, I copied the Dark Falcon idea. Oh, okay, yeah. Although the physical is shit, so I'm, I might just go to Strategist instead. I just keep her as a Falcon because she gets, uh, Gale Force. Gale oh, Gale. you're right. That, that's still a thing. And they nerfed it in face. Hardcore, but still useful. I mean, how many levels is that? 50 for a. No, 60. Uh, level 35 for the class. Oh. I think. I'll go look for you. As Ray moves his units. Yeah, but you know that Felicia's a bit different. She's. I have no idea. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird. I mean, I'm just keeping going with it. So, it's pretty so anyway, in the start of this map, Quan has a talk with Finn. Ah. And you want this talk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this. Welcome to FE4, where there are a ton of talks that give you free Taught stats. Me. Stats and other stuff. Yeah. Clearly, you need to find the right book. <laughs> Soon, I will make you the page master. So this conversation gives Finn plus one strength, skill, and defense. For free. It's pretty nice, all things considered. Yeah. Now he's even buffer. Mm hmm. So, the opening gambit is that we're gonna have to take on the coming brigands, including Kinbath's uh, huge, huge forward on coming over here. Kinbath himself. Speed? Oh god, he's almost negating that silver axe. Almost, yeah, he's, yeah, he's got a silver quite. axe. He's gonna hit you very hard, and he'll drop that hand axe that he has on this person. Uh, I can't really right. use that hand axe in the moment using Lex long term, but yeah, he's, he's gonna be a very formidable opponent. To just going on all, going in all in. There's, a, there's a generic Fuck commander guarding this, this ca castle. He's, he's not much. Yeah, it is level 35. And though. we'll talk about you when the time is relevant. But technically, Kyle, I think she gets it at level 15, air quotes 15, because she hits level 35 earlier. She's a cheater. Hmm. But it's mostly just useful for her because she, she, you don't have to pair her. She just kills stuff. Because Gale Forks only works when you're not paired up in fates. This would be perfect for Ray. <laughs> X. It, would, it is the most excellent class pertaining to my interests. On the start of the second turn, we go to Marfa Castle. Uh, who, who, what, 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 what? Hey, what's good? Hey, we saw you in the opening scrawl. Take the blood and get out of here. Oh, yes. Uh, no, stop this. <laughs> okay. He's not Indian, okay? He's got the dot, though. Yeah, but he's white as fuck. <laughs> he's got the dot. But he's also a crack ass motherfucker. So I don't even him racist? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, um. Oh, Jesus. Then there's this asshole. I did! So Dude. isn't he like. So like. Let's, let's just address this immediately. Like, this, this guy's like legit 13 years old. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, actually 13. I am 13, and what is this? And I mean, now, mind you, uh, although long, he can... How long does Gen 1 take? Like, by the end of... At, at the Battle of Bar Hara, whatever. How, how, it's how been, long? It's been three years, years, I think. Three years? Three, three years passed between the start of the game and uh, Chapter 5, or Gen 1 ends. So he'd be 16 ends. at that point, which is still fairly young, but, like, whatever. That's creepy. We're, we're addressing this because Duke and Mary. So. Yeah, so it's just like, okay. Not that you would want him to, because generally... Generally, he's a shit. He's actually pretty okay. If you if you manage to promote him to thief fighter, then sure. But so he's, he's got he's got decent growths. He's got a good skill, so he makes a good dad. Well, yeah. Also, then, oh, fuck Here sake. He is. Just all of these assholes. Boy, here's the fun part of this. So yeah, more just spawned, and now these two have to get the fuck out of here. Hey there, Gandalf. We'll talk huh? about you when the time is right. So, uh, Ideen dude just showed up. Ideen is a priest. She is, yeah, another healer. Foot based. She has a men's staff. Men's staves are pretty good in FE4. They heal twice as much as heal staves. Legit. There's many HP. Basic. It's literally uh, HP, HP plus ten, uh, magic plus ten times two. Yeah, she has no skills, but she does have the holy blood. She has minor Uzir blood, so she's which boosts what? luck growth, and that's kind of neat because you know healers kind of need that. Uh, since she's a healer, I will be using her. Mm -hmm. And do um, thieves are very utilitarian in this game, but they don't have very good stats. And do is a prime example of why that is. 
Lilio coming with the dinky eye still, but he does have fairly decent, good gross for a Gen 1 character. Yeah, as well as Mel's just so sad. You only yeah, have sea he's got 40s across the board, which is really good for no holy blood. Uh, he has steal, a thief skill, which uh, basically if he hits a, hits a dude in battle, he'll steal all the money. He also has soul, which is a skill percent chance to heal the damage he would have done with an attack. Strong. And bargain, uh, basically get half price at shops. Also, don't be surprised if Aideen gets, like, a mountain of health. Lear doesn't give just luck, it also gives HP, so she's got a 70% growth. I hope you're all ready for Brick Wall Healer. Time for the Brick! Ugh. Oh, hi, Azel. You're okay, I guess. Need to feel her as well. Uh... Them coming. That's probably too far. I want to make sure I get close, and with all the main dudes, get within uh, Sigurd's authority aura. Get that, get that plus ten in evasion going. Does Ethel get a boost for Sigurd being her brother? No, siblings don't get any uh, boost. Only lovers do. Oh, okay. Well, they That's do get the sibling the critical yeah. magic. But she is getting boosted by 20 right now, considering the aura and ones nearby. Oh, how far away do they have to be for that? To three work? spaces. Three spaces? Okay. It's always three spaces, yeah. Sick Dawn aura, bruh. Hello, Lex. I'll tell you what's good. Well, we're gonna find out what's good once we get to the third part of this map. Oh, it begins. Time to crash her wake against all these Verdonites. That top shuffle. Ray's gonna be trying to get Sigurd more than 50 kills for this silver sword. Yeah. Are we, are we avoiding spoilers for this game or what? Uh, there are people who haven't seen this. Yeah, seen we'll, FE4, we'll avoid that. As, 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 no, yeah. as I've noticed when I, when I was doing the FE Horman floor. So okay. we'll keep spoilers light. Okay, but they know this is second gen, right? Yeah, yeah, but they already, they already know they're the second gen. I've said this like several times in the first part. Yeah, they explained the crit weapons. I remember you guys explaining that in Prologue, but the reason we want Sigurd is specifically to get a bunch of kills for his Silver Sword is because he hands it down to his kid. Yep. And... It makes him a lot better than he would otherwise On a Prologue map with a weapon that has like a 30% crit chance. Oh. There's more than a few words that I could use to describe how disgusting that is. It's pretty busted and I love it. Hoi! Typically, if you if you use Sigurd, he'll have about 80 kills on the Silver Sword by the time you finish Gen 1. That's 30 plus skill percent chance to crit. On average, you should have about 50 to 60 kills if you're just using <laughs> Sigurd pretty uh, regularly along the course of the game. And that's just using a full team, mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not, so he's oh, about yeah. to get even more. I wouldn't be surprised if he hit 90. Hoi! Oh no, Quan got... Tapped. Oh, Kimboy is being really. They do love their formations. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Goodbye, village. Now, a well, funny thing you can do here is you can actually leave Dew on the forest. Yeah, and they'll completely ignore him and just, they'll just surround him like, duh, he's too hard to hit. What Except do do? for the main dude, the steel axe guy in the middle. Yeah, the, has the fighter. Like a Four percent chance to hit stats. dude. The fighter is a, has better stats than the barbarians, so uh. And he he will one shot do if he hits him. <laughs> so you can do that and and mess with the RNs, but he straight up one shots him. He has one defense. He does indeed <laughs> one shot him. That's pretty sad. So yeah, I'm um, just gonna leave dude there while Odin puffs it. I mean, I like Dew, and with 40s across the board, he's one of the better Gen 1 characters, but his bases are kinda... testy. Testy is a word for it. Alright, he's still sort here. The 3 I'll strength is not risk, helping him. I'm gonna re risk not healing with F1 on this turn, so we can uh, clear the fat. Get closer. You yeah, guys on my just back stick... now, just in case. Yeah, sticking to the woods is basically how you survive. <laughs> Alright. Finn should have enough speed to double you guys. He does indeed get one rounds him. Alright, level up, level up. One HP, one skill, one defense. It's not bad, he's gonna want those stats. 
I mean, never know, he might be sticking around a while. <laughs> Funny. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> stop it, Finn, stop. <laughs> Nothing bad's gonna happen to Finn, quite enough, let me promise. What? Ramus. I mean, Finn will be fine. But don't <laughs> worry about that. <laughs> That's all right. We've already alluded to the tale of Josh McGorn as well. We're gonna try and make that. We're gonna try and make that happen because it can. I did it. And I think Ray can do it too. I believe in Ray. I didn't do I it have, on my. I have, uh, on I my, have my run plan because... just in case of this uh, backfires. Do you have a save with Ghost McGorn? No, but uh, I can hopefully find a we way will. It. I mean, I tried to get it done for my playthrough, but. It was not meant to be, so I was just like, fuck it. Ray's like Apparently. the element of the two four. I'm pretty sure if, it's, if it happens, he's done it at least once. I don't think, uh, Ray said he's never done it. I mean, he knows that it can be done. But... I mean, he's gonna try and do it. Is that not so? Mm, I am, I legit said. I pulled it off by complete it. accident. I'm gonna try like, it. Yeah. Like, McGorn just got fucking evaporated, and I was like, shit. I, well, in fact, originally I didn't even know that wasn't meant to happen. It's weird. But there are a lot of tricky things you can do with boxes in this Boss game. Boss battle! And scripted events. It's funny because she actually has a sword. Huh. Like, there's a certain part in Chapter 4 you can glitch out as well, I think? Yes, I believe yes. See, they can't. They're not doing you know, while they're attacking you. It's like, duh, what do we do? Duh, duh. Yeah, well, yeah. If the if the hit is is perfectly zero, they won't bother, will they? Yeah. Can any of I, them hit it? I think even on hard AI, which I never, I never actually got over because I don't have the option available to me. Uh, if you beat the game once, uh, and I, actually setting in the options is opened up called hard AI. You, you set it. The basic of the enemy gets gets more aggressive. It's weird. They do a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense as well. Hard AI. Hard AI is uh, it's a bit of a special, special tool. Ugh. Man, dude, you're so strong. Look at you go. You get a thousand gold though. I think you can check how much gold an enemy has on their status screen. This is the truth. Now he's empty. Yeah, and the bigger guys, like the fighter there, they have uh, like yeah. two thousand or three thousand. Yeah, generally, big bigger hauncher dudes have more money on them for you to steal. I think Timmy has five thousand. Three thousand. Oh. Well, he also was, he also has an authority star, meaning he has to go. He's, he's boosting his dudes a little bit. Mm-hmm. I need you gone, fam. Ah! Get out of here, fam blood. Just a uh, just a small spell of murder there. Today's forecast, death. Yeah, I know that feel. Featuring... Hoi! Quan giving Kinbaith a little bit of the magic tap there. The good old wolf tap. And then he wakes up. It was just a <laughs> finger. It's just a hot dog. It's like, oh. One HP, so one cool. skill, one strength. Oh, he's so big. Fucker's got, fucker's got 21 strength, yeah. Oh yeah, about that. Trading does not exist. <laughs> it does not exist. Remember the pawn shop we explained earlier? You have to have Quan sell that hand axe to the pawn shop before Lex can pick it up. Buy it back like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, conquest has made me mad, but it's okay. <laughs> not that mad, really. You said you were having a good time, Cal. What's going on? No, not really mad, like legit mad. But you know what I mean. I've been having a good time with it so far. I'm glad that you have fun with Conquest. As well, a said, as even European, the, even the Pal is finally able to experience that which is fates. Yeah, even even the infamous Chapter Ten wasn't that stressful for me. It can only had to restart once. I, I yeah, for his due to a, due to a mistake with placement of Arthur, which led to him. You know, it would be him of all people, wouldn't it? That's his gimmick. He's unlucky. Yeah. I mean, all right, that was more due to my incompetence. <laughs> Just putting him in the wrong place, but... Well, I mean, he, he was put in his place in the ground, but... Uh, burn it's the, okay. burn to the ground? That's sort of his position. But, hey, what can you do? So, Kimbeth's dead. Just bye. 
Yeah, he's yeah. gone, so his dudes are just like. Ugh. I love how, yeah, he's. he's, he's we, should also bring, we, we should also bring up a session, uh, another uh, mechanic that uh, dudes can uh, have if bosses are that are charging at you that are on the field uh, have, have an army with them. If you kill enough of them, they'll actually retreat back to their home yeah, castle and get more. Just be like, fuck this! And then leaves to go get more dudes. And you can basically get infinite EXP that way. I think after a while they stop getting EXP. They might? I'm not sure. Do they? I think they do, because I remember doing this in Gen 2 with a certain map. With a certain, uh... Ground but, I mean, the reinforcements will be infinite. They won't stop something Yeah, the else. reinforcements don't stop as long as there's the, the leader of the group that can go back to his castle. And can't you also, but... like, just stuff him in there as well? Or do they come out instantly? What do you mean? Oh, uh, they have turn. to wait. A, you have to wait a turn for them to come back out once they go can't, in. You, you can cap their base when they're in there. Can't yeah, you? Yes, you can. You can actually cap their base when they're in there. And we'll just like. Which also leads to another hilarious circumstance. If there is a boss traveling with a group that's also tied to an enemy, if you capture the castle, they'll just vanish. Yeah. Which is hilarious for a certain uh, final chapter boss. Which I love doing that too. He's got an axe. If you were curious as to who that was. <laughs> yeah, you know the one. Know the one. Yeah, it's just like he's walking around and I'm gonna just loop around, take this, and goodbye. Give him the good old reach around. Take this! But Super yeah, that's, that's something funny. People. Something funny you can do. I don't know how I'll take this. I want, I want Sigur to hurry up and uh, catch up with Idina and do. Hadouken! Probably uh, wise. Nah! Not in the thing that you're interested in Dew's case, but basically, but mainly I want to make sure I save uh, this village, because it's gonna go if you don't hurry up. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is I like to have Dew grab it, because he can still uh, make it out because of his increased movement. <laughs> but he'll get attacked a few times by the fighter guy if he does. Yeah, that's why, that's why I opted to go for the force instead. Because, I mean, they still give the, the, the plus 20 evasion boost, but... Look at him racking in that cash. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Hmm. What, no kills for Lex? Oh, no. He's not being used long-term. Sorry, Mel. <gasps> He's, He's not so part of the team. <gasps> Rest in peace, you crazy diamond. Good, good job, my dear. Did you mean shiny diamond? He needs, he needs no, to Cal, I did. He needs to continue his chocolate chip damage. He's trying. He got strength. He wants to be strong. He wants to be part of the team. Put me in, coach. Getting those silver sword kills. Yep, yeah, we're doing well. Slowly, Sigurd becomes more powerful. One HP, one skill, one strength, one defense. Oh, you're so strong. Your Sigurd is so good. I mean, most Sigurds are good. Remember my garbage Sigurd from like before? I think yeah, so. Yeah, that was that was a, that one, was a gorgeous strength story. at level thirty. That's, that's pretty. That's even, just that's just doesn't really even bad cap luck. strength at level thirty. That's poor form. His strength cap is 25, by the way, if you're oh, curious. Yeah. Incidentally, this is completely non secret but did you pre-order Monster Hunter yet? No. It came, the pre-orders are out here now, but I don't know if they're out anywhere else. Uh, when's the release date for it? Uh, 20-something of July? Oh wait, I don't really Still, care. still a while away. They you also, get, you also get a free mystery minifigure. I hope I get lucky after. They haven't announced the special edition, so... But the free minifigure? I don't think they're doing that in an ACAL. No, well, there isn't a special edition, from what I'm aware. I, mean, I don't think there's a minifigure in NA. Uh, well, that's not a special edition, that's just a pre-order thing that comes with it. 